to this particular uh, uh, event. And I I feel like, you know, this this book, this means that things are going to bode very well for the community if we're going to start off the year so, so strong. Here it is. Starting off on Battlefield, we have J Jazara again with the Palatina versus Naui. So here it is. Now, um, you know, looking at looking at this particular matchup, right, Palatina definitely can do a, a good number when it comes to Nessa's recovery as well, you know. Uh, Palatina has some really good offstage tools when it comes to edge guarding the opponent with the drag down neutral air and even the counter. Here it is, though. I like what we see here. For, oh, wow, yeah. that was actually pretty smart. See, Palutena has all the tools necessary to counter Ness, especially offstage of getting that counter, perfect timing on Ness's recovery. Yep, just like I said before, too. And here comes the chain right there and get, manages to get the two the two neutral airs. Oh. And here it is again. Now we just having a tough time trying to land. This, this character is so strong at just like maintaining the pressure, and we can see it there. Jazara actually tearing through Naui offstage here. Get, tries to get the recovery again, but a little risky. Mistiming the counter offstage, but it's okay. You see, he tries to go pretty strong with this edge guard. Great use of the PK fire to prevent himself from getting edge guarded. Yes, very smart right there. Uh, you saw how um, Jazara tried to see if he can intercept, but it was a bit difficult for him. And I did like how, too, you saw, even though the camera zoomed in, it didn't mess up Naui from g getting the other PK Thunder when he wanted to recover on stage. You know, interestingly enough, um, recently I just played the Earthbound game, and because of that, I have a greater love for Ness. Regardless, though, right now we have Ness on the final stock right here, a character who does have some pretty interesting tools, even though he has stubby, uh, you know, range. Uh, he, th there are some moves that he has that are pretty good zone breakers, you know, when you look at the dash attack and even solid usage of the PK fire, which does go a great distance. Here it is, though. Yeah, the rising fair off the stage. You see how he's trying to slow down, trying to space himself away from Zara. Puts himself in a pretty bad position again. He actually had used his jump, but... Now we, oh, sorry, Jazara not going to contest out of that recovery again. And you see he tries to go for the up air, and that was a really good recovery, but, but, Jazara was just ready for him, do you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what the, that was impressive right there, actually getting that parry into the forward smash. Like, I had to, I had to, I had to, I had to hold myself back from even cutting you off right there, because I was just so impressed. Um, really cool stuff right there. And, again, that was, uh, I have to say that Ness was was quite impressive, but the the Palatina showed out like that was that that was just really really solid play right there. Again, the ledge trapping was on point. We saw the edge guarding on point as well. The, especially the first stock was the perfect representation of how solid Palatina's edge guarding is against Ness. I didn't even think about using the auto reticle to snipe the double jump whenever you see Ness trying to come back on stage with the high double jump. Yeah, especially since he has to recover, you have enough time to react to him trying to recover at the same time. Exactly. Okay, I like these aggressive fares. Trying to chain another one, and this time doesn't decide to double jump and go for another one and wants to retreat back on stage. But here's the Nair opportunity. Like the shield, holding in shield, being pretty safe on the platform. Air dodging off the platform, probably trying to mix up Jazara there. Yes, Wait, dash attack. You were mentioning the opener right there that Ness has, trying to get the dash attack to probably try to catch Jazara's jump. Exactly. Like, you can see right there, that dash attack. It snuck underneath the back air, too. A move that does have involved, but um, you can catch uh, the opponent's legs, as you saw right there, as the invincibility is on the shield, mainly. Okay? You see good drifts right here by Naui. Trying to look for a potential back throw, it, it seems. Can rack up a decent amount of damage to make sure that that back throw will KO. And as you can see right there with that up smash, up smash is a tool that Ness has that's actually really potent. That can also get you to stop oh. an SD from Jazara. Yeah, I think he had buffered air dodge um, by accident when I think he was trying to probably roll back onto the stage. Yeah, it, it, it happens for sure. And, you, you know, looking at this matchup too, uh, I talked a lot about what tools Palatina has. Looking at Ness, Ness actually, if he decides to say it from mid to long range to bait Palatina to go for auto reticle or explosive flame, you get a decent amount of health back using that side magnet. So, of course, you don't want to get too projectile happy using Palatina versus Ness when he's at those specific ranges where he could just basically bait you to use that projectile. But there it is, Palatina showing that she also has an amazing back throw of her own. And I love that engine change. Beautiful down smash, making it hang off of the edge, Vicky Kitty. Yep, and that's an active hitbox all the way through. It charges up the way that you charge the smash attack, which is constantly there. And since it lingers below the ledge, it could actually catch, catch a recovery like Palutena 
Jonas, who has to, use, has to use the teleportation to get back to the ledge. I, I'm so happy because right there, I'm learning. Like, I, I remember I, when I was trying to play Ness on Quick Play, I was trying to figure out how exactly do I set up that down smash. And right there, showing us how it's done, making sure it hangs off stage, as you saw there. Um, right now, now we has the lead. Yeah, speaking of hanging down uh, down below the ledge, uh, now we actually uh, doing a pretty good job with this jab lock, getting the PK fire into forward smash. Now we. That was insane. D1, the jab lock into PK fire to keep him in the PK fire into forward smash by the ledge. Uh, we we styling out here yeah. already here in the beginning of Genesis 6. No, no, <laughs> that was absolutely beautiful right there. And like, like I'm going to tell you right now, you know, when you play this particular game, uh, it, 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 when I saw that forward smash connect, the first thing that came to mind was Earthbound, where you hit with the bat and it says smash when you get the critical hit. That was a perfect, perfect stuff right there by Maui, showing that Maui is definitely not free going into this matchup. Of course, now we're going to see both of these players take to it again here in a Game 3 situation. Maui versus J Jazara. Again, it uh, looks like Jazara kind of waited a little bit to want to decide to go Palutena. But, okay, staying with the Palutena. And we have Maui again. I'm glad he's staying because he did a really good job, especially with the edge guards against Naui. But I felt like he just didn't keep Naui off stage enough in that game too, as we saw from that game one. Yes, here it is. Okay, again, zoning with the uh, auto reticle, and you see. Okay, that's what I like from Naui, going for a lot of these dashes, empty, empty shore hops, waiting for the side magnet. So you, under mm -hmm. I understand that Naui definitely under uh, knows what tools um, that Ness has at his disposal. Yeah, this is exactly what you were mentioning too, and I feel like we're seeing a lot more from him it's kind of it's it's about making a state yeah. and he's telling him you want to do any of this well understand that i i could actually use it to heal myself exactly but these dash attacks making it very hard to land right now for now and okay spacing with the forward airs trying to see if uh Ness can get, just get some sharking opportunities right there so immediate with that forward air but that follow-up afterwards was not true which allowed Jazar to sneak in that counter are with the dash attack. We were talking about that earlier in Nairo's game where it could be a little bit difficult to contest, um, especially since it has invincibility on the shield. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was okay. pretty tricky right there and not necessarily getting punished right away, but still, Jazar was able to get the grab and to get that raw back air. Oh, big time. And now, again, looking for those openings just to get that back air. You know, Ness, Ness definitely can make it happen, putting out that PK Thunder just to try to, like, see if he, uh, he can, like, force the opponent to recover in a certain manner. But there it is again. On the defensive, taking a lot of these aerials right now is Naui. Beautiful forward tilt usage too. No jumps left. We don't see a counter. Okay. Oh, but no, but he bounced off the stage. And I think he actually did it on purpose, but unfortunately fell a little too short on trying to catch that ledge. Um, he had recovered from below on purpose to avoid the auto reticle as well, but unfortunately it just wasn't enough. Yep, but going for that neutral to get the pressure off. You see right here, now we wants to see if he like bring things together, but it's looking like it's a little too late. That would have been a potential good neutral air just to force the opponent off stage by Jazar. But regardless, right now we have a situation where Okay, we, okay, beautiful job right there. Instead, now we still staying strong. 68% though. Oh, that, yep, that's catch teleport so easily. And it doesn't even look like the yo-yo was off stage necessarily. It was just the active hitbox was so far out by the ledge that he was able to catch him. Okay, good drift back. That forward smash was ready. Okay, looking for those opportunities again. Trying to go for the PK fire. That was a big opportunity, but a miss right there by Nawi. Getting the back air, crossing up Jazara. Jazara looking pretty strong, though, playing pretty patiently. Not trying to be above Ness at the same time, though. You see he uses the platform just trying to mix up his recovery. Oh, and the roll in. Now we not waiting for the roll right there. It's, oh, but look at that, 67% actually trying to bring it back. Okay, nice catch of the warp right there towards center stage. We have the PK Thunder. Is that an up air? Okay, I thought we were going to see an upper confirmation. That up air from Palatina is so strong. Madison's getting a little bit more health. We could see a back throw very soon. Yep, this is exactly what you're talking about. Using the side and getting the back throw. There it is. W one stock remaining for both of these players, but this Palatina right now, 0% again, has to wait for those opportunities to possibly get more percent. But I think we don't want to... I think Jazar wants to be more close quarters. <gasps> Here it is. And now he's taking up so much. I like the patience there. He actually tried to go for the downer, but the platform stopping him short. He tried to he tried to go off stage right there. Oh yes, and we see the PK fires forcing Jazar to be a bit more defensive. Oh Back throw, not gonna get the KO, of course. Okay, I thought we were gonna see a potential setup. Okay. This is such a scary situation, but the up air catching Naui as he was in mid-jump, but that was such a close game because although Naui was down, 
far significant compared to Jazara, he still was able to bring it back last stock for Jazara. That was actually insane. Great comeback from Naui, but unfortunately, Jazara takes the set over him and proceeds through winners.